Hey there everyone, Face here, back again with another video and let's combine everything and uh, what we're gonna do is just combine everything onto a separate screen and we're gonna debug after that so let's go ahead and further move on. So these all are done, let's see and we're going to figure out whether we have some bugs into it which I'm pretty sure will be there. Let's create a new folder and call this one as screens. We are very soon going to move into the screens and routing and navigation and all of that. Uh, let's start with that up here. And inside the screen, let's call this a new page and call this one as music player dot JSX, TSX. <laughs> okay, so we have this one. And first, let's have this one. Let's call this one as const. We'll have a music player just like this and the arrow function. Okay, first and foremost, we do have some stylings as well. So we're going to copy and paste those stylings, which we have already written from the previous. And it looks like... Uh, yeah, this is one we are going to uh, capture onto that part, so don't worry on that. Styling is required, so that will come up from the React Native, so style sheet, there we go. Don't worry about this width, how this is being calculated, we, I'll show you that how the width is being calculated, super, super easy. Uh, we have dimensions available to us, in fact, let me show you first that, otherwise it will be keep on bothering you. So, what we can do is actually first, let's remove this. We have an access to this dimensions, which gives you the ability of how wide your phone is. And you can use a dot get method onto this and you can grab, you can just write a window. So you'll get the windows uh, dimension out of it. Now this is an object uh, from which you can actually go ahead and extract uh, width or height, whatever is necessary for you. So we're gonna get width just like this. And this width is used here. Told you, super, super simple. Okay. Uh, next up, we are going to bring up some of the things from the React Native player. So let's go ahead and write that first. We'll be bringing up some stuff from React Native track player. What are these stuffs that we are going to need? Uh, first and foremost, obviously, we are going to need the track player. Track player. There we go. Why is it bothering? Uh, declared but not used. That's okay. Uh, we'll be needing event also. We also studied about the event a bit late, uh, earlier as well. And apart from event, we'll be using the track itself and we'll be using this one more, which is a use uh, track player events. This one. I don't know why this is bothering. Yeah, this is actually outside. Uh, my bad. It's actually here. And this one actually is not here. Okay. Now... Uh, refers to a type but is not being used a value uh, that is okay that I'm not using them as of now but that's totally fine okay this is all done now the first thing that we are going to do here is let's go ahead and import all the constants as well playlist data playlist data from constants what on the God's green earth is it trying to do from constants and import just like this like this is messed up. This is messed up. Let me just fix this one here. Cannot find use track player events. Hmm. That's interesting. And that is coming up from so this. Ah, oh, my bad. Oh, goodness. Thank you. Finally, we have done it. <laughs> then we need to bring in oh, nice, nice and easy import. And we also need to import our components. So let's go ahead and do this. So first is song info. The second one is song slider and the last one is going to be control center there we go so all the components so a lot of imports that we are doing here because it's a screen we are combining everything up here uh, first thing that we are going to do here is come up here and declare a state so let's go ahead and create a track in the brackets track and we're going to say set track and that will be coming up from use state use state and this use state uh, will have nothing as of now uh, but we are going to provide a data type which is going to be either of type track or it's going to be uh, null so we are starting a default value of null into this one that's okay whenever we are going to use this uh, cannot find use states is it use state now you should be able to find it there we go Okay, uh, that seems good. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to render some of the artwork. So, before we actually return, let's go ahead and create that we are going to return an artwork. Const render 
art work how this is going to be rendered pretty simple we have brought in the constant we will be taking help of that we can render the artwork in directly the place where we are actually rendering the controls as well but i think that's this is a better place and we're going to say return like this there we go and first let's have a view just like this we have some styling for this one and style is going to be styles dot list art wrapper uh, looks like we don't have view so let's bring in the view somehow the auto imports are not working and there we go we got the view okay now once uh, we are into the artwork wrapper album container is the next one that we designed actually yeah we can copy this and the next styling that we have is album container yep i remember that all right uh, the next one is uh, based on whether the track is there or not is going to be rendered so let's just say if the track is there then optionally if the track is present then optionally there might be an artwork and if that artwork is then only i want to render it so just use like this and then inside this we are going to load up an image there we go self-closing of course somehow the image needs more values yep it's imported that's okay and in this one we are going to first provide the style so let me go ahead and copy this style and this style is for album image art most important thing is source so the source is going to be a uri uri there we go and that will be if the track is present it's not supporting me track then optionally go ahead and get an artwork out of it and if you are able to find an artwork go ahead and convert that into a string so to string all right there we go we were able to render the artwork that is nice now there is one more thing which is we want to track whether the events like what i want to do is basically if the music ends i want to start the next music automatically this is where i have to write a big 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 uh life cycle you can say warning that it's not currently working on all devices there is a bug going on but at least let me show you that how you can actually go ahead and work with that it's important that you understand the concept rather than just showing you hey this works this works so what we can do is you can just use this use track player events and this is the interesting one uh, so we're gonna go like this and then we can go like this so what you get inside this one is uh, simple we'll go like this and we'll have the event into it and that event is going to have this uh, simple playback track changed somewhere yeah here it is playback track changed now a little bit more go outside of this and uh, i actually wrote it wrong so let me try this again just give me a second i'll try this again okay i looked into documentation again won't be lying to you yes i got confused so i looked into documentation again this is a little bit new to me as well so what we want to do is use track player events this is how you use it and inside this you actually provide the events list of event and then in a handler okay i also got confused won't be lying to you so first event that we'll be passing on is the event and then uh, playback track changed okay and then we can provide the handlers so there we go we go like this and there we go handlers like this all right so this is going to be i uh, will be passing an event onto this one so let's remove this and provide an async there we go and async event we will be passing you an event like this uh, we're not using this event as of now uh, we will be doing that inside this all right so this is okay okay all right then we have to use a switch case statement into this because we are considering a lot of events that can be passed on this so based on event based on event dot type that is given to us oh god event dot type that is given to us case by case we can work on with that the first one that we are going to be working on is going to be really simple so the, if the case matches to event dot playback track changed but you can go for others as well i'm just showing you an example here all i have to do is uh, i'll just go work like this this track player is going to get the next track so i'll just say get track 
there we go get track and uh, from the event it's just like a dom event you can go ahead and grab the next track there we go now we can go ahead and uh, obviously this will take some time so i'll await this and i'll hold this into a variable so i'll just go see that playing track is equals to like this all right and uh, what i'll do is remember we are setting the tracks up here i'll just update that state so i'll just say set track and i'll pass on this playing track to this one all right really simple uh, this was just a simple meaning to provide you that how this can be handled you can go ahead and definitely 100 percent track for more events this was just for uh, the purpose that you can actually see the things and how you can get grab and work on with that all right next up inside our actual where we are using this music player let's go ahead and grab the view there we go just like this we have a styling of course why not and styles dot container there we go and after this we'll be having a flat list which we haven't used in a while and self-closing of course and inside the flat list we have to provide that first this is all going to be a horizontal list so that you can scribe through and scroll on horizontal scale from where you're going to grab your data uh, the data will be coming up from that constant so playlist data and uh, what is the item that you want to render i want to render the item which is the render r to work so there we go and what do you want to have your keys key extractor for the performance purpose I'll just grab, give it each song, and from the song, it will automatically extract the ID. So song.id, and we're going to go ahead and convert this into two string, because while playing around with this, we realize that it definitely needs the key extractor in the string format, and that is why we are giving it. Now, once we are done with this flat list, rest is pretty easy. We have to have this uh, song info, just like this. And this song info will require one prop only, which is a track. So I'll provide him a track, which we are already extracting here. Uh, so that is it. And uh, song slider as well, which don't require anything at all. So song slider, just like this. And we will also provide a control center. There we go. So our screen is ready. And hopefully you understood the part. And the most important part is this one. So there is so much event, so many functions, a lot of things are given to you. Hope this is giving you a little bit of confidence that how much time it takes to build a similar kind of approach for a Spotify clone uh, or something, something similar to this one. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is just, just bring this music player and let's see what happens. So in the app.jsx, uh, we don't need this status. Uh, we, don't need, we don't need any of this, actually. We'll just go for a classic view. And this view will have a simple style, which will be styles. We just have one class here, which is container. And inside this view, let's grab a status bar. And uh, we're going to go for a bar style, which is light. So bar style, that is suggest me dark content, light content. Yeah, light content is fine. And the last but not the least, which is the music player. Finally, we have it. So, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that we have got. And obviously, it was expected that uh, types could not be found within the project or in these directives. Uh, so, there we go. Uh, some pressable and all these types are not present in the control center. Okay, so let's go into control center. And react native types. We don't need types. Ah, save that. And let's see what is happening next up. Uh, testing seems okay. So the player is, we probably need to restart this or reload this at least. Okay, next bug. Uh, it is into app registry. Okay, from the folder, Metro is running. Uh, looks like we got a crash. Let's restart this. This will be better. And of course, if there's requirement of the, requirement of debugging it, we'll definitely do it. So, npx react oops react dash native run dash android and let's see if it is building properly or not at least looks okay looks okay 
So at least build is getting, that is okay. A good, good sign, good start. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Ah, it's building it up automatically. And we have errors. We have errors. Uh, metro local dev is running from the wrong folder. Check if metro. So yes, a style sheet doesn't exist. So there are a couple of errors into this one. So let's just see. I actually installed a dev dependency and probably that is creating the issues for us. And there we go. Let's see what is happening. All right. So this is saying that now we property style sheet doesn't exist in song slider. Song slider. We don't have style sheet. So let's go ahead and grab a style sheet from react native. Style sheet. This is how you'll be debugging your app as well. And there we go. Text property doesn't exist in song slider. Looks like there is nothing that exists in the song slider. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go ahead and have this text. There we go. Going back. There we go. Finally, you will be also debugging the things like this, but our artwork is not yet rendering properly. It is there. We can see the slider is there. And music. Yeah, I can hear the music. That is working fine but our artwork is not getting rendered. So uh, let me try to have our Metro Builder hit a refresh onto this one. And uh, there we go. Why is it loading the previous app that we built? Okay. Probably this might happen. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's hit a Shift R. Okay, so there we go. We can see some of the issues which I can dismiss. Oh, there is a lot. Let's restart our app. Probably we have done a lot of changes. So that is why. Again, this is the real world development that will happen to you as well. Let's go work with that. Yes, I want to run it on Android. Let's see how many bugs this time. All right, building good. There we go. Told you sometimes you just need a refresh. It works like that. All right, really happy that we were able to get this. And we're getting a crap. Oh, we are getting a rebuild again. Sometimes happens. And yes, I can see the music. Let's move on. Ah, oh, nice, nice, nice. And this needs a little bit more. We are probably providing just one value here, but we'll definitely debug this. Uh, but you can see the title track and all of this is coming up nice and easy. Probably we haven't done a little bit more. We can do a little bit more work. Uh, we are super proud and happy that we were able to accomplish this. I'll close this. In case there is any update, you can send me a pull request on the updation of the project or something. But I'm super, super happy that we were able to build this project. It's amazing. It's nice. It's, it's cool. A lot of work. I'll definitely push it onto all onto the GitHub. Uh, if you uh, have any suggestions, want to send a pull request, an updation of the code, any refinement, I'm all happy with that. A uh, lot of work, a lot of work in this project. We're super happy that I was able to teach you so much inside concept. Uh, that's all for this video. Let's catch up in the next one.